Hello everybody and welcome to the launch of Snarl, the official zine of Snarling Badger Studios. Snarling Badger Studios is Uncle Adam and I's uh, game company. We've released three games so far, Rain in Hell, Space Station Zero, and Majestic 13. And now we're bringing you something new. Specifically, we're bringing you the first issue of our yearly zine. It'll release every year about this time, and it will contain both a new game as well as supplementary material for our past games. This particular one at launch contains a game, a standalone game called Tanks for the Apocalypse. We'll talk more about that in just a little while. It also contains additional material for Rain and Hell and for Space Station Zero. We'll get into what all of that has as well. It's super easy to pick this up. You can find the link below in the description uh, or through our website, also linked down below. You can pick it up in PDF for only $8. You, so you get a full game, you can play with your friends, uh, as well as additional material for our past games. If you don't have those yet, you can find those down at the link below as well. So let's talk a little bit more about what's inside the magazine. First off is Tanks for the Apocalypse, a new standalone game for two to 10 people. That's right, I said 10. This is a post-apocalyptic skirmish game set some number of years after the apocalypse. And uh, the apocalypse happened when the first nuclear bombs were detonated, ignited the atmosphere, and killed most people on the planet. Those who remained scrabbled by for a few years until they discovered these mass stores of M4 Sherman tanks waiting to be shipped to the European and Pacific fronts. They then took those and either used them to create bastions of civilization or to kill anyone in their way and take the limited resources left. In the game, you pilot your tank uh, and attempt to obviously destroy the enemy tanks as well as engage in the various uh, secondary objectives. It's great with a lot of players and can lead to a really fun, chaotic, free-for-all time. Uh, and the games are quick, usually 45 minutes to an hour, uh, but full of lots of uh, really great action and suspense and surprise moments. Uh, as a fun story, uh, when Tom was playtesting this, some of his playtesters were actually his kids. So Tom has four kids and he had actually, a, uh, his kids had a bunch of friends over for a sleepover, and they all played the tanks game together, and it was a huge hit. Uh, they all loved it and have asked repeatedly to play it since. So I really do think tanks can be fun for the whole family because uh, no matter what age you are, who doesn't want to imagine themselves driving around a tank and blowing up other tanks? It just seems super fun and cool. Uh, so Tanks for the Apocalypse, as I mentioned, is a full, uh, uh, 22 page standalone game contains everything you need to both play as a, in skirmish mode as a one-off or as an extended campaign where your tank can actually improve over time. We're really excited about it. We think people are going to have a lot of fun with it and realistically all you need to play is the $8 PDF and a tank. You may already have one in your collection for some other game. If you're interested to see the game in action, there's also a battle report linked on our website. Uh, as well, it will be on this channel, um, but you can find it through the link down below, uh, so you can check that out. What's in Rain and Hell? Well, Rain and Hell is getting uh, a new add-on. This brings a new philosophy, uh, as well uh, as two new scenarios for your uh, warbands to engage in. So, really excited. Uh, this is Rain and Hell The Reckoning. Uh, a new philosophy has made itself known, one based on faith something that has not been part of the oligarchy of hell for quite a long time. Uh, so uh, this new philosophy is uh, making itself known in a big way in the wasteland of hell, and it's up to you to, to either uh, make this your new warband and see if you can't find and convert some new believers to your side, or to put down this uprising. Finally, Space Station Zero New Discoveries. Uh, this brings a host of new equipment to your crew and options when you're creating those crews uh, for Space Station Zero. Uh, oftentimes crews go into the depth of Space Station Zero, most never return. However, a few lucky crews have recently returned and they have loads of new gear they found left down in the depths. And they've brought that back up and have it on offer for trade or sale for new and arriving crews. 
you can use this to take advantage of this new gear and get your uh, crew uh, armed up and equipped and ready to go on your own mission to explore the depths of Space Station Zero. So there you go. Uh, you've got the new game, Tanks, 22-page standalone game with both skirmish and campaign play for 2 to 10 players. You've got the add-on for Rain and Hell with a new philosophy and two new scenarios. And you've got Space Station Zero, new discoveries with uh, new gear options for your crew. Uh, we're really excited about this zine. This is going to become a regular thing with us doing one of these per year, usually around this time in the fall. Uh, Adam and I really hope you enjoy this. You can check out his channel for additional videos. That's also linked down below. Um, and I'm going to have a new hobby cheating video coming out tomorrow focused completely on painting tanks uh, for Tanks for the Apocalypse. So I do hope you'll check that out as well. But for now, just give this a like uh, or uh, subscribe if you haven't already. We'll be talking more about the zine and all of our games in the coming weeks. Um, if you've got any questions about any of the games, check out the links or just drop me a comment. I'd love to have you drop me a comment, uh, say anything about what you're excited about or any past great experiences you've had with our games. That kind of engagement, I'll be honest, it really does just help other people find the video and get exposed to our games and I'm super grateful for it. Uh, supporting channels as easy as picking up that awesome $8 PDF uh, or any of our past games, all of which are linked below. But as always, I thank you so much for watching this one. I hope you have lots of fun playing the game, and we'll see you next time.